My name's Daniel Wilson, and my connection to Prescott is that I'm the town clerk. I've also lived in Prescott for the last 12 years. My speciality is pick a lily. My other half, Sarah, had been to town one night, been to a nice posh restaurant. She'd come back raving about how she'd had this ploughman's meal with a pick a lily on the side. Being a lover of pick a lily myself, I thought, you know what, I can do better than that. I first got into cooking when I was young. I did home economics in the senior school in second year, and I won a chocolate log competition. And that kind of piqued my interest and thought, well, maybe if I won that, I can win something else. I start with a kilogram of vegetables, cauliflower, tomatoes, green beans, courgettes, shallots, and peppers, all chopped up to about a centimetre. So something around one centimetre slices. So you get a nice chunky vegetable, a nice chunky pickle lily. None of these soft, runny ones that falls off your butty. Once you've got all your vegetables, you salt your vegetables overnight. This is to draw the water out of the veg so that it's not a sloppy pickle lily. You then have to rinse the salt off the vegetables. You're not making brine, you're making pickle lily, so you need to get rid of that salt. Then this is the real secret to a good pickle lily. My top tip is get a salad spinner. Give it a whiz so you know they're as dry as they can be. The aromats. I tend to go with 30 grams of corn flour, 15 grams of turmeric, 15 grams of English mustard powder, 15 grams of yellow mustard seeds, a good heaped tablespoon of crushed cumin, and a good heaped tablespoon of crushed coriander. Make sure you get every bit out of your pestle and water. Then I tend to use 600 ml of apple cider vinegar. We've got in our pan 600 ml of cider vinegar. We're now going to put in 75 grams of castor sugar. We need to give that a little stir and melt the sugar into the vinegar. While the sugar is melting into the vinegar, we weigh out 50 grams of runny honey. and into the pot that goes. Once you've got your cider vinegar up to a reasonable temperature, take a ladle full of your cider vinegar and mix it in with all your other dry ingredients. So you're making a paste, which is then gonna go back into the pickling liquor. Once you get that consistency into your pickling liquor, make sure you get every drop of it. This is where all the flavor of the pickle lily is. Okay, then give it a stir. Next, we take our vegetables from the tea towel, get them over to the pan. Oh, well, you know full well this is going to taste fantastic. Leave this for five minutes just to infuse. I'm just about to nip into the pub for a pint with me mate Jeff. Jeff was the first guy who ever received a jar of piccadilly. He fitted the radiator for me at home and he wouldn't take a drink off me, so I offered him a jar of piccadilly and that's where it all started. Little does Jeff know I've got a couple more jobs I could do with. So we're now at the point where the piccadilly's been used more of a barter system. You know, money's gone out the window now, it's what can you swap me for the jar of piccadilly? I've had some labour favours in terms of some glass and glazing from a friend of mine. Someone else has done a bit of electrical work for me. Another friend in the pub is a graphic designer. He said, so if you do me a jar of piccadilly, I will do your labels for the piccadilly. So we've <laughs> done really well. I was a few jars of piccadilly. Two jars. Come on, that's what I made it for. <laughs> so that's the leaky tap sorted. We're now at the perfect point. As you can see, the pickle lily is well infused, beautiful colour to it. Get your ladle, get your pre sterilised jars and start to jar them up. You'll see we've got some already labelled up. So make sure you get a bit of everything. First one, done. Leave it for at least six weeks and then enjoy. I tend to enjoy it with corned beef, ham, Sarah likes a bit of cheese, roast beef, 
you name it, I'll pop back a little on pretty much everything. So that's it, it's dead easy. Give it a go and you too could be in Dan's delicious piccalilli heaven. My piccalilli is made with a bit of press coaching love. <laughs>